Hello everyone, and welcome back to the studio. We're your hosts, These Nuts and the Chameleons. Today, we'll be talking about Morbius, Moon Knight Episode 2, and Graham's Watches. First, we'll be talking about Morbius. Our own reporter and host, Graham from the Chameleons, went and saw Morbius yesterday. Morbius has become a very unpopular movie. So what did you think of it, Graham? Well, it wasn't as bad as people said it was. The post credit scenes make not much sense at all. But the rest of the movie was okay. Do you have any problems with the movie? Well, I guess Milo's transition to being a villain is kind of abrupt. But it seems like the serum kind of affected his brain in some way. Very good. Now, we'll be talking about Moon Knight Episode 2 after this break. This video is sponsored by BIC Snake Oil, the magical cure that will have you free falling again. And we're back, and we're here with our in-depth analysis of episode 2 of Moon Knight, which released on Wednesday. I don't know why I paused. Now, Graham, Gra what did you think of the second episode of Moon Knight? Well, it was... Very, very good. I rewatched both of them on the weekend, and I think episode two is much better than episode one. So, what do you think of the questions raised by it? Hmm. Well, I don't really know. Can you give us a brief summary of the episode? Well... Episode... Opens with... Uh, well... So... Stephen gets... Fire, it goes to the museum again, that gets fired after the security footage makes it look like he get he's the one who destroyed the bathroom and that the whole, the ja jackal was in his imagination. Then it goes to a vault where he finds a bunch of stuff including the scarab at a gun and Mark's passport before speaking to Mark in the mirror and getting ambushed by Conchu. Runs out and right into Layla, takes him back to his apartment, which gets inspected by police officers who then turn out to be members of Arthur Harrow's cult. He goes to Arthur Harrow's cult's headquarters and talks to Arthur Harrow about his cult. Before Layla rescues him and he gets chased by another jackal, which then get we get the big reveal of Mr. Knight. Then fights the jackal, gets beaten, and he becomes Moon Knight. Then Moon Knight meets with Khonshu. At the end of the episode, he's in Egypt. Very interesting. And now, after this break. What movies did Graham watch? Welcome to Graham's Picks for the Week. This week we will review everything that Graham has watched this week and talk about it. So Graham, 
What are you watching for this week? Well, this week I watched Dinosaur Adventure, which is famous for the meme Ye. It is a movie about a baby dinosaur called Tila, who's gets separated from his parents in a volcano and then finds them again. The entire thing is on YouTube. What else did you watch this week? I watched the first two episodes of Walking with Beasts, which Walking with Beasts is a sequel series to Walking with Dinosaurs, and the first two episodes are New Dawn, which follows the Lactictidium family in a Eocene forest. They deal with the threats of Egastornis, giant ants, and an ambulocetus. Then I watched episode two, Whale Killer, which is about a, basilis- a pregnant Bethesaurus who is currently living in through a major crisis with no with there's an aquatic famine, and she goes and she eats some baby Dorodon. Then I also rewatched the first episode of Loki, which needs no coverage in its greatness. And that is it for the first episode of Cinema Watch. Next week's episode has unfortunately been cancelled due to the fact that we are both played by the same character, who is away. Goodbye. Bye. This video is sponsored by BIC Snake Oil, the magical cure that will have you free falling again.